What's up guys, today we're going to be looking at the Avatar Last Airbender Azula action figure from Diamond Select Toys. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, now we have her out of the box. Here's all the accessories that comes with it. Uh, we have the figure, a stand, we have an extra hand with flames attached to it, which I kind of wish that she also does not stand very well, as you see she just fell. But let's go ahead and move her aside for now. So let's go ahead and look at the accessories. Uh, first off, we have this. It is a stand. You put it inside here to help her stand, help her pose, do other stuff. Uh, these are removable to make different sizes. You just take out the screw and there you go. You have, you know, different sizes you can use. Um, oh, actually, you just slip it out. Okay. It looked like you had to remove the screw. So these are, see, you can t drop it down to make it different sizes. So you can have your arms at different lengths and stand her different ways, make her different poses. You have the base that comes with. It's just a cheap plastic base. Uh, it's actually pretty thick, but still, it's just a basic base. I, I wish it would have had like Avatar or something. Instead, it's got Biocom made in China written right here. I wish there was like Avatar or something. Like Avatar has so much different colors and symbols and all kinds of stuff belong to it. I mean, at least they could have put the her element, like the whole Fire Nation right here, something, but they really missed out on that. And then you have an extra hand with her doing some fire bending. Kind of wish it, was, it would be like lightning or another hand that has lightning or something, but I heard there's a deluxe figure that has extra stuff added to it, so maybe it might be through that. But yeah, also I kind of wish they had an extra hand with her holding her hand out like that. Um, that wasn't with fire on it, that was just a hand by itself, but... Maybe, like I said, maybe that comes also in the deluxe. So, I don't know if you can see it. It's right below her hair, like right along there, her face. There's like little black dots on her face. I don't know if that's like splash from paint, like little flecks of paint that was on her face from when they painted like the, the pads or the shoulders or something or what. But yeah, there's little black dots all over her face. Um, the head sculpt, though, itself is pretty good. The mouth is painted and looks pretty good so the same with the eyebrows and the eyes everything um, the head it's on a ball joint but I mean it, it just does not move at all it's very stiff uh, the arms go all the way out and they do do a 360 uh, we got this little floating piece here for it um, there's very good wrist articulation I mean that's really good wrist articulation uh, elbow joints do not really want to move either. It's very little. Like that's it. Uh, so we got full rotation of the hips. I mean the waist, and then also on the hips, you got a full rotation of the hips, but no ab crunch. Um, the legs do move out pretty well. You got a thigh rotation right here. Very tight though. Um, you have double jointed knees. So that's pretty good. Um, you do have a rotation of full twist and full up and down, but they do not have a swivel of back and forth for the ankle joints. So all in all, this is a semi-decent figure. The, the, a lot of the articulation is not that good. Like there's certain things you can't do with it. like. Like I said, the arm, you can't put it in, so you can't put any like training poses or any other thing that basically you can just have them standing here or throwing out the fire. That's about it. I just, there's really not much to this. To be honest, I was actually kind of disappointed to what very little is on this. And also, even after, now especially after playing with it, I do not see this figure standing again without its base. That's probably why it came with the base. This figure cannot stand without its base. There we go. It's probably gonna fall, but got it standing. And it fell. So, yeah, see, it just it just does not stand without its base. So, but it also, even though it's got the base, the base is just disappointing. There, see how good she stands with the base. But the figure itself, it just it's disappointing. Like I was expecting so much more, especially articulation and everything. I mean. They do all these advanced movements like 
major so you think the articulation would be good to be able to do all these movements for the fire bending and all that it's just I don't know, I was expecting more going into this. Um, the one thing I'm really looking for is the Zuko one, so I'm hoping his is a lot better. I know, I know the Katara one, the elbow articulation, is really bad too. Um, this is the first one I've gotten. Uh, they're very hard to find in my area, so I need to keep looking. But, yeah, like I said, I'm hoping to find Zuko, and I'm hoping his articulation is a lot better. Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, I... If you like Avatar and you want a display piece, this is perfect. She looks amazing. The paint is very well done. Her clothes are very well done. There's no bleed through of any paint. There's no mixing of it. The only thing that it has it is just a little bit of like flecks of little black dots on her face. I'm assuming that's black paint. Um, and also a little bit right here, her hand has a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I'll go and do a close up for you guys. So you guys can take a better look at it.